Hey guys, welcome back for another weekly grind video. Uh, I know I am a day late with this one. I apologize. I, I just didn't want to do anything yesterday. It was so like, hot, humid. And uh, I know I should have been like, oh, it's hot and humid and I'm going to stay in half my freaking day. But no, I just decided to watch the Dragon Ball Super dub. I have not watched the dub yet. So uh, I just finished Universe 6 Saga Tournament or Universe 6 Tournament Saga. And uh, I'm liking it so far. I think it's cool uh, that some of the dub, you're just like, wait a second, didn't he say this? And it's like, all right, some of the stuff that was in the Japanese dub was left out. So um, I, they're, they're, it's, it's interesting. It definitely is interesting. Um, I want to finish it up. I can't wait. The uh, next arc should be, the, uh, well, after the little mini arc should be the future Trunks arc. So I'm super hyped about that because I know a lot of people were raving about that with the uh, actual English dub as well. But uh, anyway, we're here for the weekly grind video. Make sure to subscribe if you were new. Help show your support of the channel. Um, first one is going to be the Gohan event, the Fierce Battle for Planet Namek. This is the one where you go, you grind out the Gohan, make sure you get him up to Super Tech 10 with all four dupe pairs unlocked. Um, he has his own potential orbs from stage 8, get him to 100%. Once you Doku Awaken him, get him to level 120. He has an Extreme Z Awakening for a Planet Namek Saga lead. Highly recommend going and doing this. Um, this will run until 8.12. Both of these run until 8.12. So make sure to do that. In terms of this event, the only other thing that's really kind of available for you that's kind of cool is the Scouter. But you're almost never going to use that unless you're just doing it for fun. Um, outside of that... Um, this also runs to 812. Pretty much a super strength team. I used my Super Saiyan 4 Goku strength team. I just brought him and uh, I destroyed that event. I just murdered it. I had no problems actually accomplishing anything. So if you guys are just like thinking about what teams you should or should be running um, on that, a, a super strength team or an extreme strength team should suffice. Um, <clears throat> again, that and runs until 812. <clears throat> the next event is the Majin Boo's Candy Mischief. That runs until 8.12 as well. Um, pretty much, you go over here, you get your, um, you can get the uh, Vegito, the, the actual candy Vegito if you want to, um, from that event. Sweet support item randomly changes uh, key spheres, physical key spheres, and randomly changes random key spheres to physical, and you get attack plus 5% per physical key orb obtained. Um, now, I know <clears throat> some people have said that they brought that on Super Battle Road. I don't know how, how good that's going to be on Super Battle Road. Um, I, I guess, it, you know, I, I should give it a shot because I've been trying to do uh, Super Battle Road and I, I just can't freaking do it. Um, it's horrible. <laughs> so maybe I will give that a shot. Uh, that one runs again until 812. The next one is going to be the Ultimate Pair, the Other World, and the Ultimate Pair Present World, the Vegito and the uh, Gogeta banners, or not banners, the uh, events. They're available daily. I mean, all the Doken events are available right now, so just go ahead and do it. This one's uh, pure physical, so you should be able to bring a 120 strength team. Um, and this one is pure, uh, intelligence, so you should bring a 120 physical team, and you should be able to beat both of the events, pretty simple. You're gonna need, um, what is that, 35, you're gonna need, uh, 70, 70 medals total, um, for each, from each of these events, plus <clears throat> the respective <clears throat> Vegito and Gogeta medals as well, uh, to make, to get them to Dokken Awaken LR, so even if you haven't pulled them, make sure you grind that out. Uh, I'm still at fault for that, because I still haven't grinded out my Vegito medals to, uh, 70. <laughs> um, the next one is going to be the Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan. Um, that event runs until 8.18. Uh, I don't really think there's anything special here. I think I've talked to you guys a lot about this. Uh, stage 1 is Shamu. Shamo. Um, you go ahead and grab him. He's a decent support item. Um, stage 3, Sensu Beans, if you're running low on them. Uh, stage 5, you have Videl and Trunks. Uh, the Videls are cool because they will feed into the Intelligence Videl. And I've talked a lot about her. I actually rainbowed mine. And uh, the whole thing about her is when the when the, the intelligence one debuffs the enemy, and I think it's stun or recovers health. Um, one of those two. She's a very good support unit. I actually brought her on Super Battle Road, um, and I because I rainbowed her, and I was able to beat the event with with her alongside it to debuff my enemies. Um, so she's really good unit. Um, uh, you don't have to rainbow her. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But I would at least give her um, the at least double attacks if you're going to do that. If you're going to probably use her. Uh, next, and then I think that she doesn't even have a Doken Awakening yet, so when she gets a Doken Awakening, she's going to de debuff like crazy. Uh, stage 6 is where you get your medals in order to Doken Awaken the Super Saiyan Goku, Gohan, and Goten. Um, I think you need, what, 7 of each of them in order to get them Doken Awaken, something like that. Uh, you will need those medals if you already have them. Check it out. If not, go check out the wiki. By the way, shout out to dbz.space. Um, go check out the wiki for each of them. Actually, you know, I could probably just do this right now with you guys here. Not the Reddit. We're going to the wiki. Um, and let's see, we're going to do the Goku Disambiguation, uh, that way we can check it out. He's going to be underneath the Super Saiyan location. Um, yeah, here we go. So they're each going to need seven medals. Yeah, so I was correct in my assumption there. 
Um, so when you get seven of each of them, you can just go on from there. One of these guys will be given to you for free. They're part of the starter pack, I believe. Um, and they're very common pulls. They all Doken Wake into decent units. Again, my favorite one is going to be the Gohan. I think he's the most viable unit. Um, and then, but Goten and Trunks are also awesome. Goten is a key orb manipulator, and Goku is just damage output. Uh, but definitely go ahead and grind seven of each of those out, even if you don't have them, just you have them on standby. Next is the Daily Go Goku Six Days to Galaxy's Edge. Um, highly recommend doing that just because it's it's good for the mission rewards. Now, if you've been doing it daily, you should have already completed your missions. I think as of yesterday or the day before, you should have completed all of your mission rewards, uh, and you should have everything taken care of at this point. So, um, just keep on doing it, though. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I think you just keep on running the event, and you get some cool stuff. You get some chances to get, uh, like, uh, Elder Kai medals and stuff like that. Everything's a gold capsule when you run it, and it's very quick and very easy event. Just make sure you do your dailies for that. Um, that runs until 8.12 as well, so you'll have that for another 10 more days. Uh, man, this, this third year anniversary is taking a very long time, huh? <laughs> I'm not complaining. Uh, Battle of Gods is now on. That event's running until 8.13. Now, I've been doing this because I want to get all four dupes of my physical Super Saiyan God Goku. I, I refuse to grind that damn thing out to get all these guys up to Super Attack 10, all the God Gokus. I mean, to be fair, the agility and the strength one that I have, I just ended up using Elder Kai's. So the only one I'll have left is to do is this uh, Intelligence Super Saiyan God Goku. And honestly, I don't even think it's worth me getting him up there. I mean, attack and defense was 80% when HP is 30% or above. Eh. I mean, he's that's a good unit, don't get me wrong. Um, I think he just it's just that he gets shattering the limit and not um, fierce battle. So I don't really use him that often. My model intelligence team is just really good. Uh, but anyway, outside of that, you go, definitely go ahead and at least grind out enough metals to get these guys to Wake. And essentially, this is what's going to happen over here. Uh, these medals you can get, not this one, this one is the uh, God of Destruction, the special Beerus Doken event. Uh, the Beerus medals, Doken Awaken, from this event, Doken Awaken, the Intelligence God Q card to his TUR form. The Weiss medals, Doken Awaken, both the Intelligence and the Technique Weisses to their TUR form. Uh, the free-to-play Goku's here, Don't you don't need to Doken Awaken him. I mean, if you just want it for collective purposes, get him the Super Attack 10, Doken Awaken him. He's not a good unit at all, you'll never run him. This Goku over here... This is a summonable SR. Get him to Super Attack 10. You get to, you have to get the Videl, the Gohan, the Vegeta. You need 10 of each of them. And I think it's like you need 3 of each of the Goten and the Trunks medals in order to token awaken this summonable SR to God Coop form. Definitely get him to Super Attack 10 before you do any of that. And then get him to uh, the next level. And then you're going to have to do it at least 4 more times if you want to get all 4 Dupas unlocked. Which isn't a bad idea because then he token awakens again. Which you see up over here. It becomes a pretty damn decent free to ball uh, SR dokenable unit. <laughs> um, outside of that, Beerus Metal Stage 1, Weiss Metal Stage 2, Stage 3, and 4 are going to be really good support items. Peel off, Shu, and Mai. Uh, stage 5 is Gohan. 6 is Goten and Trunks. 7 is Vegeta. 8 is Videl. 9 is going to be the Goku Metal or Goku card. So you can go ahead and do that. Peel off uh, is a sealer. He seals super attacks, which is really good if you're running like Vegitos and stuff like that. Um, three, uh, or, uh, Shu is going to be key plus three for attacking character, which is really good. And Mai is reduce enemies attack by 30% for one turn. She's not good for, like, super battle road, but she's good for certain events that are shorter, but you need to make sure you don't take a lot of damage. So if you have, like, glass cannons like Broly, she can definitely help out by reducing the amount of damage. Super Saiyan 3 Broly, that is. Um, again, that runs until 8.13. Next one is going to be the legendary summon, the Gohan summon. It runs until 8.6, so we have four more days of that. Uh, this features the LR Gohan. Uh, all the other LRs should be on this banner. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Teen, uh, and the Gohan Kid. Actually, this Gohan Kid is what got me through the Super Tech Super Battle Road because he was healing me. I had him heal me like three or four times while, well, actually probably three times while he was in there. Um, I think I missed one on one of the battles, but that's all right. He definitely is very good about doing that. Um, so it's definitely worth it. There's a whole bunch of other Gohans. It looks like it's all the Gohan and Cell stuff in here, and, Bo and Bojack, since that's part of it. Oh, look, the, the, the Turles is in here too, so uh, interesting. But yeah, it's definitely worth it. This LR Gohan is still one of the best, best one of the best LRs that we have available in game. Um, he's very good. He's a staple on a mono intelligence team. He's a staple on a hybrid Saiyan team. So definitely go ahead and grab him when you can. <clears throat> if you pull dupes of him, don't use a TUR or don't use his base form to link with his uh, LR form. Use dupe paths. Trust me, do it. I, I think I um, I was looking at the Reddit and they were like, uh, and some post was about how you had to have uh, the, the, the SSR form linked with his LR form. Then I looked at what they were actually linking with. Everyone links with him for the attack buffs that he gets. He just gets an additional like two key or something like that. You definitely don't need it with his passive. So uh, by the way, shout out to myself because uh, I have him with two dupes unlocked and I'm, I'm very happy about that. Bottom right, top left. So I'm hyped.
So hell yeah, when he crits, it's ridiculous. Um, again, that runs until 8-6. And you have the Trunks banner ends tonight. So if you want to try and get your luck on the Trunks banner, um, you have Trunks, you have Tapion, you have uh, the Super Saiyan Trunks GT, Super Saiyan Trunks Xeno. There's a whole bunch of different you know, uh, Trunks in here. Uh, GT, GT, Xeno, Super Trunks, uh, Android 18, Android 17. Um, oh, look, yeah, Broly. Oh, yeah, this is all the other stuff. These are all the LRs that are in here. So uh, or I guess not just LRs. The Mighty Mask is... Oh, yeah, Mighty Mask is there. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Personally, I want LR Bojack. Um, if I get enough stones by the end of today... Um, like, if I'm only off by, like, 12 stones, I'll buy a 12-stone pack. I'll do a multi on this. Um, if not, then I won't summon on it. But, I mean, like, I would like the Trunks. It's a higher chance to get that Trunks because, you know, why the hell not? Um, I my, my physical team's pretty awesome. And I remember I was watching D-Freeze video the other day. And he did say that pretty much LR Trunks is no longer going to be uh, considered for a physical team. Uh, there's certain teams he still will be on, but, like, he's going to be phased off of it. And that's kind of insane if you think about LRs being taken off of mono team. I might do a video about that and talk about that. But uh, that runs until tonight, so if you want to do that, make sure you get your summons in on that. Um, the Dokkan Festival, we're moving over to summons now. Uh, there's only three that are really available, um, and it's, it's the dual Dokkan Fest that's going on that you all are aware of. I'm personally done with it. Uh, again, you, I already did my videos on what who you, I believe you should summon on or how you should make the choices. I put that out a couple weeks ago, so um, I did mine on the Gogeta banner. This, this is this one. That's just because I didn't have him. I wanted dupes of him. I didn't have him. And I want to do this. So I have like everything else on the other banner except for the main. <laughs> so maybe I'll get them in the future. I will definitely be doing a future summons video as well. Um, last but not least, it's going to be the third anniversary tickets. Um, yeah, because I think, what is it? Yeah, th there you go. So this is going to be a third anniversary ticket summon. Um, pretty much the tickets you get in daily. And if you're doing your daily missions, that's going to be available until 8-12. So just keep on logging in and grabbing them. Um, I have not been saving them. I know I think I said this to you guys before. I have not been saving them. So uh, I will not be doing another multi-summon video with them. i just been doing them daily. Uh, I got my Super Saiyan 3 LR Goku from that, so I'm happy about that. But it kind of puts it to shame because now my Easy A Goku, all the orbs I invested into him, kind of means nothing because I won't run him. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, that runs until 8-12, and last but not least, uh, oh, sorry, that is the ticket banner. I think this is the special friend summon. Either way, it's, you know, they, they're kind of interchangeable because neither of them really matter unless you have the ticket. Uh, the friend summon over here is going to be for the multi summon you do on friends and you get you can get elder cause you get a whole bunch of different bonus items um so do them I, I haven't used them all i'm probably not going to do it all i'll probably do some more multi summons on it just to pay in the bucks it takes a lot of time uh but anyway guys that's pretty much it thank you for joining me here today make sure to subscribe if you're new uh and stay tuned i will definitely have one more video dropping today and i plan to release the ginyu force a uh, captain ginyu video and the um i think it was a guldo uh no not the guldo the birder video i think it was uh, uh, this weekend, so that way I have some videos for you about what you should be doing with their attacks. So, the Captain Ginyu and the Birder videos, they, those are the two, yeah, because the Birder video, I just talked about the actual event, I didn't talk about the card. I'll drop them on Saturday and Sunday, respectively, so that way you have all five of those videos in case you're wondering what you should be doing with the two. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.